All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the lake. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am your brother, Mashiaka Razaka, from the Servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as uh, Leviticus 19 and verse 27. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right, you as a Hebrew Israelite, a so called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian, we are the true Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. All right. Lord will this lesson is edifying. Leviticus 19, 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Alright, what does that sound like? A shape up. Alright, you as a Hebrew Israelite, a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian, you're not supposed to get a shape up. Alright, those shape ups, you know, those lineups, you know, when you get it all nice, crisp, boxed, and squared, that goes back to the Hamites. They did that. Alright, but you as a Hebrew Israelite, you're not supposed to be lining up on your head, man. And, you know, for research, man, it actually pushes your hairline back. So it's not good to, to get a lineup. Don't be getting a shape up. A lineup, man. You know, you go into the barber shop, you're getting a fade, you know, you're getting it all light, nice and boxed and crisp. You're not supposed to do that, man. It says, Neither shall thy mar the corners of thy beard. And that word mar, it goes into the word uh, corrupt or to destroy. All right, because that word mar, it means to corrupt or to destroy. So when you, when you mar, you know, you mar something, you're basically destroying all right you're ruining something it says neither shall thy mar the corners of thy beard so you as a hebrew israelite you're not to line up on your beard all right when you mar at it you're basically destroying your masculinity all right because when you when you grow a beard you're letting everyone know that you have reached into your adulthood just like for example when a lion as a cub, he doesn't have a mane, but as he gets older, he starts to get patches here and there. And then as he gets into full age, he gets what? A full mane. So you as an Israelite, a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian, you are not to shave your beard, man. You're not supposed to line it up. You're not supposed to shave off your beard. All right? You're not supposed to do that. All right. The Hamites did that. But you as an Israelite, you're not to do that. All right, let's read again. Leviticus 19, 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. So right, man, don't be getting a lineup on your head and don't be shaving off, you know, or lining up your beard. All right. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Just want to do a quick hitter. All right. So give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Hashai, Bashim and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Until next time I say, Shalom.